Okay, what I have here is a generic solar charge controller. This is the 30 amp version, PWM, and you can use this to charge lead acid battery, lithium ion battery, and lithium ion phosphate batteries. So this is a very inexpensive one. Uh, generic, no name, probably around 13 to 15 dollars. So I'm just going to go over some of the basic settings of the charge controller. In order to operate this, you have to connect it to a battery. So connect to the battery first. This is the battery connection over here. And this is the solar panel connection. And this is the low connection. Some charge controller have the battery connections in the middle. So make sure you correct uh, connect the uh, input correctly. So the battery for this model here is over here, positive and negative. And once you connect the battery, you have a display. Then you can connect your solar panel and your load. The low means your lighting or whatever you want to control to turn on or off. So this battery, uh, this controller has has that function plus a USB output of two amps. You can plug your cell phone into it. Okay, so right now you can see the battery voltage of my battery, 12 volt. This is the manual button. And this is the up or down, increase or decrease. You can scroll through the display by pressing the manual button here. Okay, so this would be the float voltage that I set, 12.2. And this one here is the battery reconnect voltage. So if you use or depleted your battery, your low control won't come on until the battery reaches 11.6. Then it will reconnect and allow you to turn on the low again. So that's what it means. So this is 10 volt is the low voltage disconnect. That means you depleted your battery down to 10 volt, the low will be disconnected. It won't discharge the battery any further. So that's what it means, 10 and then, okay, now this is the um, low control function. 24 means the low will be on 24 hours. Okay, so, in order to change any function, okay, let's say the type of lithium, okay, L1 is lithium ion battery, 18650 type, okay, let's go there, okay, press the menu button and hold it for five seconds, then you can change it to L2 is lithium ion phosphate, and then BAT is regular lead acid battery. So select the one you want to and then just wait for a few seconds and we'll set. Okay. Okay, this is the float voltage, you can set it to whichever you want to. You can set it to 12.2. So that would be the float voltage. And then this is the reconnect, battery reconnect. Again, you can set it to higher or lower. There's a limit and that's in the manual. But 
when you press the controls and if it doesn't go any further then you know you have reached the limit so any of these function can be adjusted just press the manual button this button here for five seconds and you can make the adjustment okay let's uh, talk about the low control function in more detail you have to connect your load here up to 10 amps that means around 120 watts so don't go over that right now i have a strip of led light con connected to the charge controller and if i want to turn this on manually i just press the down button here so it's on press it it's off okay now if you want to change the duration of the load you can go into the settings here 24 right i had it set to 24 before press the manual button for five seconds and then you can you can adjust the parameter the um, duration Okay, right, one hour, two hour, three hours, right, for however long you want to set it, okay? And then zero hour. Zero hour means dusk to dawn. That means the low will come on when the sun goes down, usually around 6 or 7, depending on where you are. And the low will, will come on and it will turn off in the morning. So that's why it's called dust to dawn. So you can also turn on your low manually. That means using this down button here. But in order to do that, you have to change the setting to 24 hours, okay? So once it goes out of 24 hours, you can press this button to turn on your low to on or off. Okay, so this is a very inexpensive and versatile charge controller. You can also use it for 12 volt. And the specifications are on top. Rated up to 30 amp, depending on the model you bought. And maximum voltage, 50 volt. And maximum input, 390 watts. Or when you're using 24 volt, 780 watt. So you don't have to pay hundreds of dollars to buy a MPPT. The difference is negligible, really, uh, in output, because uh, there are tests to show that, depending on the situation, there's not much difference between PWM and MPPT charge controllers. And as long as you don't overload it, make sure you have enough ventilation. I put a fan on my PWM. I have another version, it has a heat sink in the back. And it's more sophisticated than this, but it's still an inexpensive charge controller. And usually that's all you need. You don't need a fancy charge controller. Alright, thanks for watching.